Hey everybody, in this video, we're going to continue talking about related rates. Specifically, we'll talk about related rates cone problems, where we have a conical tank that's either being filled with water or drained. Let's dive into an example. A water tank in the shape of a right circular cone has a height of 10 feet. The top rim of the tank is a circle with a radius of 4 feet. If water is being pumped into the tank at a rate of 2 cubic feet per minute, what is the rate of change of the height of the water when the height of the water is 5 feet? Okay, let's break this down and outline the givens and determine what it is we're looking for. The problem states that the cone has a height of 10 feet and a radius of 4 feet. Then it goes on to say that water is being pumped into the tank at a rate of 2 cubic feet per minute. We can call this dv dt since it's a rate of change of volume. The problem asks us to find the rate of change of the height of the water. Let's call this dh dt. And we want to find this when the height of the water is 5 feet. In other words, when h equals 5. Here we have a diagram of the cone, and we can see that the height is 10 and the radius is 4. The water forms a second cone with a height h and a radius r. Now we need an equation that relates the variables. Well, we know from geometry that the volume of a cone is V equals 1 3rd pi R squared H. Now, since the volume equation has both R and H, it would be helpful if we could make a substitution so that way we can get the V equation in terms of one variable only. And the way we'll do this is by using ratios from similar triangles. Here we can see that R over H equals 4 over 10 because of similar triangles. Then we'll solve for R, which equals 2 fifths H. Then we can substitute this into the V equation and we get V equals 1 third pi times 4 25ths H cubed. The reason we substituted 2 fifths H for R is because now we have V in terms of H only. So now when we take the derivative with respect to time, we'll be able to get dh dt in the equation, which is what we want to solve for. So dv dt equals 1 third pi times 4 25ths times 3h squared dh dt. We can cross out the threes and we get 4 25ths pi h squared dh dt. Now the final step is to plug in values and solve for dh dt. We can plug in 2 for dv dt and 5 for h, and then we can solve and we get dh dt equals 1 over 2 pi feet per second. And this means at the instant when the height of the water is 5 feet, the instantaneous rate of change of the height of the water is 1 over 2 pi feet per second. Okay, let's do another example. Suppose we have the same conical tank from example 1. If water is draining from the tank at a rate of two cubic feet per minute, what is the rate of change of the radius of the water's surface when the height of the water is five feet? So let's identify what we're given and what we're trying to find. Since water is draining from the tank at a rate of two cubic feet per minute, we know dv dt equals negative two. It's negative because water is draining out of the tank. Now we want to find the rate of change of the radius of the water's surface. Let's call this dr dt. And we want to find that when the height of the water is five feet. Just like the previous example, we'll start with the equation for the volume of a cone, v equals 1 third pi r squared h. And remember, we have a similar triangle relationship where r over h equals 4 tenths. In this case, we'll solve for h. h equals 5 over 2 r. And we'll substitute that in for r. This gives us v equals 5 over 6 times pi r cubed. Now we have an equation for the volume in terms of r only. Now let's take the derivative of this equation with respect to time. dv dt equals 5 over 6 pi times 3 r squared dr dt. Now remember, we want to find dr dt when h equals 5, but there's no longer an h in our equation. So we're going to use the similar triangle relationship and solve for r when h equals 5, and that gives us r equals 2. Now we can plug in negative 2 for dv dt 
and two for r, and we can solve for dr dt. And that gives us dr dt equals negative one over five pi feet per second. This means at the instant when the height of the water is five feet, the radius of the surface of the water is changing at an instantaneous rate of negative one over five pi feet per second. As you can see, related rates problems that involve cones might require a little bit of extra patience and setup. But if you spend the time to make sure that you get the correct setup, you'll be on the right track to fully understand the problem. And that's how you rock calculus! <laughs>